Department of Respiratory and Sleep Medicine uh, provides a whole range of services for the local community, uh, but also specialist services that help people, uh, particularly with breathing failure, you know, across Victoria, um, but even interstate. Uh, and we've been, been involved in providing occupational health programs um, in our hospital locally. Uh, we're doing that, but some of these programs have been used again throughout the state and throughout Australia. We were the first hospital in uh, Victoria to, um, to set up a pulmonary rehabilitation program and so not just providing that service but then improving that service and um, through research um, providing uh, best practice uh, pulmonary rehabilitation for our patients. Um, the types of patients that we're treating have become more those with chronic diseases, chronic respiratory diseases, so we're talking asthma, COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, um, and also chronic fibrotic lung diseases, interstitial fibrosis, pulmonary fibrosis, people will have heard of asbestosis and asbestos related diseases, and of course lung cancer, um, which is a, a major killer and, and is a major killer of both uh, women and men. In. Our um, intensive care is so busy, our hospital is so busy, there are so many patients coming through the emergency department now, many of whom who do have, who do have respiratory diseases, so we're taking patients who are sort of sicker than, than we, we once would in the past. And the Institute for Breathing and Sleep uh, was founded really as the um, a, a research arm of the Department of Respiratory and Sleep Medicine here at the Austin. And, and what we do is we look at the problems finding answers to the problems that patients have with respiratory and sleep issues. Um, initially, um, we were, were treating patients with tuberculosis, or not in my time, but patients with tuberculosis and infectious diseases such as polio, for example, which caused um, uh, immeasurable damage and caused patients to, to end up in iron lungs. We provide a service to help people um, become free from ventilation. So patients who've been stuck in intensive care units for prolonged periods of time on ventilatory support. We take those people from those units and help to gradually bring them off the ventilator. It's your breathing machine at night, so I have to have support because my oxygen levels drop so much when I'm asleep. He explained that half my muscles need to sleep at night for me to function well in the day, and I wasn't getting that. Before I got my machine, I was struggling really badly with uni. I just, my first year I dropped all my classes down to one because I was so exhausted. I couldn't walk far or I couldn't do what the other kids could do. It was within a month. I could go for walks. I started getting fit, finished my degree. I did a master's. Now I work part-time and I have my daughter, of course. My whole world changed. Um, as a boy seeing the young kids run around, play sports. I couldn't do that because every time I tried to do that, I ended up sick as a dog and then I was in the hospital for a couple of months until they recovered me and then I'm out only just to get the weather to get bad to end up back in the hospital. So it's really critical, I think, for the success of the research unit that we're based at a hospital. It gives us a unique advantage, both for the clinicians and for the researchers to investigate the pointy end, the stuff where that overlaps. We've now actually got in very good empirical evidence, very good proof that um, patients in hospitals that are research active have better outcomes than those that don't. There was an experimental project going on with this Zolair. Normally I could only maybe run two or three houses and then I stop and my asthma was out of control. But on this experimental medicine, I was able to run two blocks, which is not normal. I, I've got a quality of life that I wasn't expecting it. You've given this taste of actual, I can't explain to you. It's more like it's freedom, like a weight lifted off me and with, I was able to do what normal people could do. So currently our, our service is fragmented. Um, we have uh, clinics in one area, laboratories in another area and that creates challenges for patients. Um, we have patients with breathing difficulty who when they come to visit us have to visit the laboratories, come onto a clinic, uh, and because they're short of breath, that's very difficult for them. Um, it also means uh, that our team is fragmented um, and by bringing together 
our research laboratory and clinical services, I think that will provide a much better service for patients uh, and it will also make the, the team more productive uh, both clinically and also with our research work. is about um, how uh, comfortable would I be and my participant would be with a good clinical space and, and also a good accessibility. It'd be nice if everything was close together. You know, the old building is quite old, quite slow. Technology doesn't always work. It'd be nice if it was convenient and easy. Mm -hmm. If everything can be kept in one spot and the test can be done more efficiently and the patient don't have to wait around as well, and sometimes it's hard for the patients to find out where exactly they had to meet us, given that they're so spread out. Mm -hmm. And not uncommon that the patient will go into the wrong spot and then they have to kind of run up and down the hill. I don't think anyone should be struggling in this way for our patients. It's hard to see our patients sometimes after they're coming, walking up the hill, arriving in the clinic, they'll be puffing and puffing. If when just walking from the consultation, from the, con the waiting area into the consultating room, they will be struggling for air and can't really speak to you in phrases. Please help get them out of this building, this terrible walk up the hill, get them into a set area that's easy to access for people who have trouble breathing and um, get it all combined and help set it up beautifully. This is a no-brainer for me. It's, it's one of the best things for this hospital needs. The staff are excellent. They even go out of the way to check on you after the thing just to see how you got. I've never had any problems with this hospital. I don't think people realise how much it changes people's lives to get a good night's sleep or to get proper lung support so you can function like everyone else.